One of the questions I was going to ask you was that I was in America recently, went to California. Mm. And it was interesting because I was trying to get a vibe on there's so much stuff that you can see on the internet. Mm. But actually, when you get a feel for culture, community, people, how do people actually act? How do they do that kind of thing? Sure. And, you know, because you spend a lot of time in Nigeria, you've got Canada, you've got the UK, and you know a lot of people. Sure. I was interested almost, and you're about 10 years younger than I'm, how, <laughs> how do you think they differ and what's almost the same between those kind of cultures and communities? That's a good question. Uh, and uh, it's one of, it's one of, kind of thought about and, and, and rethought about and I, I would I would say that culturally um, Canada is very similar to the UK in many ways uh, the way I describe it is that it looks very American but everything else is pretty British about it um, outside of the fact that it's a, a gigantic uh, landmass and a tiny population that's that's a that's completely opposite of the UK um, but uh, the the uh, the stereotype is true. Canadians are incredibly friendly people in general. Obviously, paint with a broad brush here. Um, but um, I, I found it to be quite a smooth transition culturally to to um, to, to to be in Canada. Um, I think when I went to Nigeria, even though as you know, I'm I'm of uh, like I said, I'm of Nigerian extraction. I'm, you know, my parents are, are both Nigerian, and, um, and I'm Yoruba. So yeah, I'm so from the Yoruba-speaking part of the of the country. Um, so when I went, I, I actually lived in uh, in a non-Yoruba-speaking part of the country. Now, just a, as many people watching probably know, massive country, lots of different um, cultures, um, and you have certain hubs where you have multiple multiple cultures from the country, kind of in mm -hmm. in one place. A bit like London, I guess. Mm -hmm. Not like so um uh it was really interesting to see how those different cultures interacted within that sort of that um that city um and uh it was a real culture shock for me because obviously um well number one i'd i'd lived in the uk for most of my life so you know very 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 british i realized just how british i am in many ways on that, i think on that. you're more british than i am it's yeah. you, <laughs> you speak better than i do i'll give you that's <laughs> <laughs> debatable that depends on who's listening um uh so so, so certainly number one, number one i realized how, how british i was but but number two um uh i think because there were so many different cultures there were cultures that i just hadn't even though i have that nigerian connection i didn't understand them or know how to connect with it um so there was there was a little bit of of adjustment that i had to make on that front even down to the way that people you know communicate with each mm. other so you know i'd been to the, i'd been to the village i've been to my grandparents village a, a few times right um and it was just a completely different way of of communicating and 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 um and existing really so that that was a real um that was more of a culture shock in canada mm. shockingly to, because one of the canada, things that i'm very know. conscious of is that i have about 10 uh, users in nigeria on the course mm. yeah but part of the mission it was something that i've it wasn't a pivot but it's a conscious decision is that the plan always was to make business education accessible yeah. in the way we talk about stuff making it simple and all of whatever but then i really pivoted because now it's the tweak to make it accessible for five billion people in a way that how you would instinctively make something for the uk and the us and maybe canada sure is different and it should be different to yes. really learn for different communities and it's one of those it's the journey or part of the journey that i'm on to how we do that because nigeria is on the same time zone so it's yeah, exactly yeah. the same time here as it is in nigeria yeah. and it's that kind of you know when you're looking at business opportunity for your side hustle or for whatever mm. i think there's so much untapped potential in the world that everyone almost bun fights about what's within london yeah. or within the uk but actually it part of the journey that I love and it's part of the reason why I want to speak to more and more people over time mm. is to get a real feel for that and especially for business education two of the biggest mm. areas that want to buy British are India and Indonesia right but I can't make a judgment call based on what I found on YouTube about how people because my gut feel is languages might be different but I think core values I think you will get people all over the world that are hungry they want to learn they want to develop but they want to do it in their own way absolutely in the same way that you said at the start about how the teachers that you would stress test and you would see if they could pass your test the, the kind of bullshit meter credibility test yeah and i kind of 
it, it's that kind of thing that what I'm trying to do is, is to go out, but it's, it's, I think it should be as a KPMG consultant, it's a two way consultative ask. 100%. As where most business education is just broadcast, if that makes sense. And I think that should change, but for the right reasons, if that makes sense. That does. And, and I guess it's a case of, you know, you have to understand who you're trying to reach. You have to understand what their asks are, what, what their points of pain are, and you have to understand how you, how you best, you know, mm -hmm. and the solution for that. Um, so, so yeah, it was, I'd say Nigeria is a very interesting place. And, um, and, and just a sort of a general note, I think I, I would encourage anyone who kind of lives, um, who, who lives so, or has grown up somewhere different to where their parents are from, just to actually go back and, 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 you know, and experience it, even if it's just for a month or two, just, just kind of take it in and, and, and really absorb it. Cause, uh, I think you have some people that on one side of things really over romanticize the idea yeah, of yeah. going up to the motherland and whatever. I think on the other side, you have, you know, people who are like, Oh, I don't ever want to go back. It must be terrible there and whatever. And I think actually as with many things in life, the answer is always somewhere in the middle. And I think a lot of people would be surprised by what they find if they did that.